see that folks? I'm leaving work and it's actually daylight. Good evening everybody. I've just finished work for the day. It's beautiful. Feeling like it might be summer sometime soon. Tell you how nice it is to be walking home in a bit of daylight. Oh, it's really, really nice. Anyway, I've got to get home to walk some dogs and do some shopping. Callie, what you got? We got Ali flashy wellies because we are massive children. More than the baby. They're wicked. Now she can splash, 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 splash. Good afternoon, everybody. For various reasons, I'm able to be walking home a little bit early. But I'm not walking home. I'm actually walking to Sainsbury's to get some treats for the dogs, well not Sainsbury's precisely, but the pet food place near Sainsbury's. But it means to get to walk the coast path. I may have got Ali a little present in my bag, look. Child, you nasty. That is gross. Good morning everybody, I've woken up with a bit of a pink eye. First time in a while. Must be getting near summer, that means my allergies are starting. Hooray! Fantastic. What is going on? I'm wearing a Totoro top that's covered in hair because one of the dogs has obviously slept on it. Go, go, go! I'm up with the owl. Sit down, Ali, please. Sit down. Sit down. All the way. Good girl. Being stood up in bed with the dogs. And Grandad's coming over. So we should have an interesting down. Down. Sit down. So we should have an interesting day. Well I am, because Cheeky Pants is being cheeky already. You can't see her, can you? You can see that baby? Sit down! 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 Dressed as a dragon. Grandad's here. He's testing out his new camera phone. What are you doing, child? And where are your clothes? Ape child. Oi! Planet of the Apes. Return of the Planet of the Apes. Battle of the Apes. Monkey. King Kong. Oi, back to the primitive. Alora, what are you doing up there? Ali! <laughs> what are you even doing? It's a really lovely day in Redfield. <laughs> it's very strange. There, the sun's beaming down. It's really bright. The sky is blue. It's a really nice day. Look at it. Look at it up there. Blue sky. I haven't had my appraisal yet. That'll happen in a bit. Meeting finished. And now I'm going to go for a bit of a walk because I've finished early. Maybe up Calm Break. I'm just walking to Calm Bray Village <laughs> and something very novel happened. I was let across the road by a lollipop man. I don't know if everyone knows what a lollipop man is. It's a man who stands in the traffic and lets you across the road in a bright jacket with a dry lollipop. It was really novel. I felt like I was full. This is a nice little village, Calm Bray. Very quiet. Very sleepy little village. And there's not paths everywhere, which is what I like from a village. My official path ends there, and I'm going that way. Grab the old phone box. Village hall. We're going to head up there. I nearly missed my footpath to get up to the top. That's my footpath. So I've changed into my waterproof trousers because, yeah, it looks boggy. So here we go. We're going to start the climb. When you stood here next to it. It's a lot bigger than you think. This is more like it. Bit of a better path. That's looking behind me. It's quite steep. But I'm about three quarters of the way up and my asthma's kicked in, which sucks. But I do get a nice view when I get my breath back.
well. Well, I'm here. people have become unwitting models to show you how big the Cambrai monument is. I was up here before and tried to show you a bit. He's big man. I think I did briefly mention when I bought all of its maps from my phone. It's a year subscription, it works out two pound a month probably. So uh, yeah, it found the footpath for me to get up here. I think it's going to be handy on my other treks. Basically that's me there on Cambrai and I've got to follow that footpath all the way along well, that's going to take me to Campbell. So basically I get to walk into the sunset and look at that on my way home. Whoop, whoop. Let's go up it, shall we? Come on. Can't resist the scrabble. Oh, I should have brought my head mount again. Ugh. Gonna tear more trousers. Right, there we are. So a little bit closer to home, there's home. Getting hungry though. Must be near dinner time. Beanie has made, hopefully has made me dinner. Beanie, have you made me dinner? These have made me dinner. Hi cows. You're beautiful things, aren't you? Light's really going now. Because I'm in the valley. It's all setting over there somewhere. Got the old moon though going. Not sure how much light that's going to give me. Well this is the great flat load tin mine I'm walking towards now. Is great flat load tin mine. Now that is near Camborne, but whereabouts from here do I go? I'm in the middle of nowhere. I've seen surprisingly more people than I thought I'd see on my walk on a basic day in the middle of nowhere. That guy seemed to really know where he was going. I wonder, you know, sometimes it's a good idea to follow someone who knows where they're going. Part of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I believe Ford Prefect uses it. Or is it Dirk Gently? Dirk Gently actually. Still Douglas Adams, but yeah, you just follow someone who looks like they know where they're going and you'll end up in the right place. So I'm gonna attempt that. See if that guy knows where he's going. Or maybe I'm gonna get murdered. I'd solved my problem. I've created more problem. I'll get down this slope. God's sake. And then up there somewhere. I found road, and I think. I found Camborne. Hello everybody, I made it home. I found Camborne. It was very Camborne-ish. It was a great walk. Feeling pretty tired now. Gotta go sleep.